How's everybody doing? It's Streets coming back at you with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Hope this video finds you and your family happy and healthy in life. Hope life's treating you good. Definitely surround yourself with good people and good friends. Um, left off the last one, we delivered a letter and a bracelet, letter and a bracelet to Penelope. So we're gonna take this one back to whatever she gave us back to Bo. Let's see where that goes, I guess. All right, let's go find all. Let's take the letter back and see what we get in return for that, I guess. Kind of stuck in this. Obviously, they don't, families don't get along. And these two are in love. So that's even going to make it more of a challenge for those two. Whoa, 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 whoa. Family business coming through. You're good. You're good. They just let me right in. They didn't care. All right, stay here. Go find old oh boy here. He's back here somewhere. Here we go. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... <laughs> This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. We better get going. All right. Find all we're off to another adventure. Up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on, come on. Yeah. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. We're definitely in it now. Like she's doing some women's rights thing or something. Um, if we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. Yep. There. There they are. Dang it, that wasn't a very good speech, oh, huh? what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. What? Fight this mob? They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from 
certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout go. all the louder. Hooray! Oh. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our Calls is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook now, the food now. and we fetch Take the Take us water. down Main Sing Street, on, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm uh, just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Or maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. <laughs> it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe they might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. You sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Yeah, it's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Go home! Shut your mouth! What are you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. equals. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Yeah. Mm. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. Ah. 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 His philosophy dependent hey. on biology, What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. Yes, you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Well, Haven't you got anything better to do? Uh, oh, you always were. Bo, cocky little... why don't we just leave him? <laughs> well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We We gotta go before they think twice. Oh Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Go, let's go. Look at the beautiful land we have built. But you don't wanna go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> my cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been <laughs> here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. 
Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure? You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She were right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. Come on, dude. This is awful! Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money, when my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you. Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. All right. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode. Hope you guys have a great week. Streets is out.